What's crack lacking guys? Sharon here with Rise Magic and today this is going to be the first video of a two-part video series on how we film and edit our cardistry slash magic videos. Now I think it's very important to say how we do it because there are people infinitely more skilled than us at filming, cinematography, and editing. But this is just an inside look on how we do it so maybe you can get some inspiration and get some ideas on how you can start doing it yourself. Now, the vast majority of the footage you're going to see while I'm sitting here talking to you is footage from our Cardistry Battle YouTube video, which we posted a few months ago. Now, to clarify, we used a Canon 80D to film that video, but I don't want you to get discouraged by the idea that you have to have an expensive camera to film a cool video. In fact, almost all the footage on our Instagram from 2014 to 2016 was filmed entirely on a Sony Xperia Z2, which is an Android phone that came out in 2012. Now, all that Instagram stuff is compiled into lots of YouTube videos on our channel, like our Cardistry compilation and Magic compilation that we posted probably like five or six months ago now. But that just goes to show you that as long as you have a great location, your camera doesn't necessarily matter. You can still get some great footage. This brings me into my first point about filming a magic slash car sheet video, and that would be your location. Your location will be critical to making the video interesting and having some personality in it. And the most important thing about your location, rather than it just looking cool and being aesthetic, will be the lighting that it provides. Now when you're not using an expensive camera, and even when you are, lighting will be critical to getting your magic and your moves and your flourishes looking as crisp as possible so that you can have a great looking video in the end. So to continue off of the example of our Car Street Battle video, we had planned for a very long time that we were going to film that on location in Media, which is a city we live very close to. Now what we liked about that city is that the town along with the buildings and the streets looked very aesthetic and with the lighting I was just talking about, we went and made sure to film between like 3 p.m and 7 p.m. so we could capture the sunlight coming down at sunset and what lots of cinematographers and photographers refer to as golden hour, which you get lots of crispy, really beautiful looking footage with your lighting. And we think that that contributes to the video looking as good as it does. Not to toot my horn. All right, so now that you've got your location down for your video, whether that be your backyard, a stream by your house, your local town, your local park, or right in front of your bedroom window. Now that you have that down, we can move on to your move slash trick slash flourish list. Now, when coming up with this list, it is very important to focus on what you're great at. Do not worry about repetition. Do not worry about having a huge, vast library of tricks slash flourishes. The most important thing is being excellent at what you're performing on camera because when you're performing on camera, it is that much more important to be completely on point with your magic tricks and smooth with your flourishes. Now, a note on repetition. About a year and a half ago, I had the opportunity to work with Vine slash Facebook, just internet celebrity Jay Collin. You might recognize you, you might not, and we made this video together. Now, after it was done, he was gonna post up on Vine and I was like, you know what, I'm not sure if I'm gonna post it on Instagram. He was like, why? And I was like, I've done it before. And he gave me uh, a piece of nugget of information that stuck with me for a while. He said, it is so much better to be good, to be excellent at a small number of things, rather than to be just, just mediocre at a ton of things. That if you have things you're good at, you focus on them hard. So let's say you can only do three or four tricks super well. Focus on those and then expand out. If you can only do three or four flourishes super, super well, put those in the video. Don't put the ones that you're shaky on just yet. It's much more impressive and it looks so much better at camera to be absolutely excellent at what you're doing rather than being just mediocre at maybe 60 flourishes. Being fantastic at five flourishes is so much better than being mediocre at like 30. Trust me. Now, to further back up that point, I would like to present to you John Stessel. He is a cardist on Instagram and a magician in real life. What John is most known for on Instagram is his awesome cardistry uncut mashup videos. Now, the thing about these videos are, is he's doing 
probably 80% the same moves in every single video. And that's not a diss at all, it's actually a compliment because he does those moves with excellence. If you look at his page, you can see he does that vertical fan in almost every video. It's become a signature for him. So rather than viewing a, a repetitive move as something negative, it can become your signature move. And if I'm talking about myself, you've probably seen in most of our videos, you're always gonna see me do a riffle fan, you're always gonna see me do phase by dealer's grip, you're always gonna see Grant do torque because it's what we're good at. And that doesn't mean we can't expand and get better at other things, but it is so important to perform certain moves with excellence. All right, so now you've got the location you're gonna film at, you've got your move list, your, uh, your flourish list, but now I want you to add shot list to that list. Now what I mean by that is B-roll or subsequent footage to fill in and mix with the flourishes you're doing. Basically you or your location being filmed to fill in the gaps in between. It just gives the video more personality. You can see here I'm showing ones from our Car Street Battle video where it's just me and Grant walking around the city or just shots of the streets so that the video isn't just someone's hands doing it. In fact, on Instagram, I used to make a point that our faces try and be shown in every single video. Why? Because that way my face is my watermark. I don't have to put one of those ugly watermarks up on there. If the video is not just my hands and it includes me in it, then the video is, becomes more mine and gives it more personality and gives it more that Rise Magic branding that me and Grant want to put out there. All right, so now you've got your location, you've got your move slash trick list, you've got your B-roll list, you know, the footage that's going to fill in, and now we're going to focus on the angles of which you're filming your tricks. Now, when it comes to filming car street, what I would suggest is every single flourish you film, film it from about three different angles. As you can see in the car street battle video, it looks pretty cool, in my opinion, to be showing the same movements of a flourish, and switch angles in the middle of the flourish. I think just like how a human being has a good side and a bad side, or at least people think they do, almost all flourishes have angles that they look the best from. For example, I believe phased looks the best from up top or straight on. And along with that, I feel like this flourish, squoze, looks the best from the right side because of how the packets are being shown. So you're gonna wanna film all of your flourishes from three different angles or more, so that when we're editing it, we have the freedom to find out which angle looks the best if you don't already know, and to switch angles in between flourishes to make a more professional feel. Now, in complete contrast to cardistry, if you're filming magic tricks, it is absolutely vital, especially since the magic trick is being shown on camera, that you do not change any angles whatsoever. You wanna find the most natural angle for that trick and stick with it the entire time. The reason being is obviously when people are watching magic through a computer on their cell phone, everyone's going to be skeptical that your tricks are actually just you editing. Now, I think all magicians know that that's actually a lot harder said than done, or done than said, but people will still be skeptical of it no matter what. So you don't want to feed into that by switching camera angles in the middle of a trick, or even punch zooming and cutting in the middle of a trick you'll completely ruin the idea of it looking natural and magical. Now to expand on that, you see this color change right here? It looks so good and natural and clean from a top-down perspective, whereas a split snap change, you know you've got to be looking at that from head-on for it to work. So your angles are critical in how you film your car she flourishes and getting multiple angles, and your angles are critical in magic to make sure you get the right angle that will present the trick in the best light and make it look as natural as possible so that people don't suspect or further suspect you using editing to enhance your tricks. All right, so hopefully if you're watching this, you have a good idea of how Grant and I like to film our videos. We think location is extremely important, getting that great lighting, so no matter what camera you're using, it'll be fantastic footage. Along with that, we like to make sure we have our move list or our trick list set up ahead of time so we know what we're gonna get when we're out filming. Along with that, we like to keep in mind that we want to uh, film establishing shots and B-roll while we're out there to give the video flow and a little bit of a story, so to speak. After that, we like to keep in mind that we want to get each flourish from as many angles as possible, so when we're back editing later, we can show the best angle and switch between angles while we're editing and showing the final product. 
And with magic, we just want to make sure that we're showing that trick in its best angle and its best light so that it looks as natural as possible to, so that people won't suspect any editing tricks, even though we all know. And editing tricks are hard to look natural. Like, I've never really tried before, but I don't work for Pixar. Like, I'm not an animator. I don't know. You know what? We'll make a video on that eventually. But for now, this is how we film our videos. Stay tuned on Thursday. I have a whole video, also based on the car tree battle, on how I edit our videos. Alright guys, I'll see you then.